here's a really important thing. When we're getting back to the to, to the three different epicenters being uh, being to this quake, um, I had wondered how on earth they managed to get three different epicenters. Because what what they what I believe they did, and you know, I, obviously I can't prove it unless I talk to Netanyahu. But what I believe they did for their for their operation is is they planted these nuclear weapons inside of Fukushima. They planted the Stuxnet virus. They dropped a nuke um, off the coast of Japan. And and and, and you know, in, in the official releases, they said the earthquake happened in the Japan Trench. But when you overlay the map put out by the USGS and by the Japanese with Google images, with with Google Maps, when you overlay them. This uh, earthquake or this this event happened, you know, well before the Japan Trench. It actually happened in the shallower water before the trench. All right, well, let's let's, uh, hold, let's, anyway. let's just hold on there. We want to we'll go back with that list and we'll start when we come back. Because I don't want to, uh, you know, I want to keep it nice and I want to stop right in the middle of anything important. So hold on. And uh, welcome back, Jim. Now I was looking here. I was looking when I was. Uh, Going through your uh, in the break, and I uh, I looked at number twenty eight, which is Browns Ferry Inner Containment Door, and Fukushima was thicker, and I was like, wow, and that yeah, blew... oh yeah, 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 and you that... know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to everything, but yeah, we're we're talking about these facilities were robust. The 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 whole thing about hydrogen blowing them apart is just a pipe dream. It would not happen. We got a NORAD style blast door there. That's, I mean, see, this is what I like about what you got here is you're 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 not just saying this like all oh, the you know the container could could couldn't handle it or whatever. You're showing a picture of it and it's like whoa, <laughs> that is a big dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Brown Ferry is actually overbuilt too. That was that's the TVA. You know, they wanted a high quality uh, a high quality facility. Um, the door does not necessarily have to be that thick. Yeah, but, but uh, wait, wait, you, 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 you said you said. Overbuilt. I don't think that word exists when you're talking about nuclear power, which could, you know, oh, destroy no, no, a planet. No, 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 you know, no. so I mean, I, I no, like, like overbuilt. Well, I like like what I said. Uh, the Mark One containment got a lot of ridicule because it was too thin, and people knew that, and so they have it over, had it overbuilt, and that's how they answered it. Obviously, that door at uh, at Brown Ferry is not four feet thick. Um, I don't, you know, I, I didn't really scale it out, but it's more than four feet. Um, with uh, uh, Anyway, I'd like to point everybody to uh, to uh, 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 link number 16, and okay. that's a military briefing with Secretary of Defense William Cohen back in 1997. Now, I had heard about scalar weapons and EM technology and all this other stuff and how destructive they could be, but I didn't believe it because I had a really good technical background, and it just sounded like it was fantasy, and and. The reason why it sounded like fantasy to me was because I could only relate to what I'd been taught and what I'd experienced with and everything else. Well, so when reviewing the seismic data for that supposed 9.0, though, I knew that there were like three small simultaneous inland epicenters. You can tell that. That's why I went over that first chart. There were three epicenters. You don't have three epicenters on one quake. That, that just doesn't happen. Um, and so I knew right from the beginning that these quakes were artificially created, and I didn't know um, if, uh, if, if, if Japan was doing nuclear tests and, and Israel got wind of them and started their operation based upon, uh, uh, upon the timing, you know, that they're in touch. I don't need these three nukes that is uh, headed as a, uh, as a uh, natural earthquake. I didn't know if Israel had gotten access to lava tubes and tunnels and gotten the nukes underground to set them off, you know. And so I wasn't saying anything because I was hunting for lava tubes. I was trying to get information on uh, on uh, on uh, on Japan, maybe doing a nuclear test. Well, it turns out I didn't really need to um, because uh, in this article, this military briefing from Secretary of Defense William Cohen, he stated. Here's a quote. Others are engaged in an, even an eco type of terrorism whereby they can alter the climate, set off earthquakes and volcanoes remotely through their use of electromagnetic waves. So there are plenty of ingenious minds out there that are at work finding ways in which they can bring, wreak terror upon other nations. It's real, and that's the reason why we have to intensify our efforts, and that's why this is so important. William S. Cohen, and, and, uh, April 28, 1997. And what was left unsaid by William Cohan, obviously, is that these systems would have been developed by DARPA and owned by America first. 
he's worried about other people having it, obviously, but, but obviously we have it. Uh, we're, we're always the first ones with everything like this. I mean, maybe the Russians, but uh, definitely we had our own systems at that time. And w what is spooky about this is the fact that he said this in 1997, which means that all the way back in 1997, we had equipment that could set off volcanoes and trigger earthquakes, and he knew about it and stated it in a military briefing. Well, we're now 14 or 15 years down the road. Obviously, we've gotten better at it. And now I'm going to say these three quakes with different seismic signatures occurring at different locations at the exact same time and getting recorded at the same quake as the same quake most likely were triggered by an EM weapon. And that is how they got the timing they needed to set up a tsunami bomb, to set up, uh, uh, to activate Stuke's Nest. You know, they had everything ready to go. This is 100% false flag right from the start. At first, I kind of thought that maybe they had a natural earthquake because Japan has them all the time, and they just sat around waiting for it. Now I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that they uh, that they that they actually triggered the quake. Well, I, I mentioned. I know I didn't read it yet, but you have number eighteen there was Benjamin Fulford. I remember him saying quite a while ago, and I don't know what there's various different opinions about about Benjamin Fulford, but he did mention that they uh, and it was a um, interview with an official in Japan who said that they were they were blackmailed basically uh, and threatened with an earthquake device you know it all it all makes sense what 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 i believe is that japan is currently under a nuclear threat i think what they did was they said you know you're going to enrich uranium for iran you're now our enemy and we can't have people running around and supporting our worst enemy iran you're on par with them so what we're going to do we're going to blow up Fukushima. We're going to give you a really bad tsunami so that you know that we're serious. We've got five other nukes off the coast of Japan, and we're going to set those off. If you don't say that that earthquake, that little 6.8 was a 9.0 out in the ocean, if you don't say that Fukushima blew up because you were negligent, if you don't go through down this list and say exactly what we want you to, we're going to set off other nukes and wipe off, wipe off Tokyo with a, with a tsunami. We're going to wipe out other port cities or other ocean cities with a tsunami. Um, I really think that Japan is being held a nuclear hostage. It's the only thing that can explain why they're going along with this. You know, it's the only – they know I – mean, Japan knows that those reactors are gone, and yet they're not saying anything about it. They're not saying a thing. They know that Reactor 4 was defueled, and they're not saying a thing. They know all of this stuff, that it couldn't have happened, that, that – that they lost control of their nuclear facility, and 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 the thing blew up all on its own, and and yeah, they know all this, and they're being quiet, and there's got to be a reason why, and the only reason would be a continued threat, and so that's that's that that loops onto uh, onto another thing is now we've got a nation running around. Um, um, I'm really really worried about about what's going on in the heartland right now with the floods and the storms, which I don't believe are real. Um, I've, uh, I mean, they're real, but I think they're synthetic. Um, they are suspicious. I mean, I, I've lived in this area all my life, and I just uh, uh, started noting in the, in the late 90s odd patterns, and uh, the last couple of years have been way odd. And these, these, storms, know, uh, these storms are coming okay, in yeah. like blockbuster. You know. Yes, I have, okay, I have on my site a picture of one of the beams that makes the clouds. I actually got that. Oh. And I actually I actually wrote, but I, I, I removed it to put that front page up. But I've actually got, uh, I actually had an article about HARP and weather modification up. Um, if you, if you, uh, um, I've got, uh, I've got, I uh, should be able to find the file name here. Yeah, I've actually, I looked at that uh, uh, initially. That was your front page uh, before the show started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, it, it, was, it was there, and, and I removed it for this show. Um, but basically, what it shows, what that image shows, is a beam coming out of the southwest corner of Delaware. And it looks like it's about 300 miles long. Oh, it's, yeah, it's yeah, I've very, never seen it, no, yeah. Yeah, it's a perfectly straight beam. Of 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 uh, perfectly straight. It's like the weather is being formed along this 
and it's straight edge sharp. It, you don't get that kind of stuff. And, and the regular clouds are moving around it in their odd forms. And it only appears for one frame and, and, and the weather radar on its done. You, you have to see it to know uh, to know what I'm talking about. Now, if you, if you type gemstonefreelance.com forward slash harp type system, that's the name of the uh, name of the JPEG. You're going to get a, a diagram of how harp can be used to uh, to heat the atmosphere and and trigger weather. Okay, now that's kind of like off topic for Fukushima, except right. for now people are convinced that when you get a nuclear reactor wet, it explodes. When you flood a nuclear, it explodes. It loses its generator and it explodes. That's a dangerous precedent because right now. These storms along the Mississippi are being artificially made. I'm sure of it. And they are trying their darndest to flood out um, several different nuclear facilities along the Mississippi. And if they can do that, you know, these, these elite, they may, they may not like, uh, may not have been happy with Japan for offering uh, uh, enriched uranium to Iran, but pretty much the whole world is their enemy. Um, if you're not going to sit down and be their willing slave, they're going to find a way to make you a willing slave. And if they succeed in causing another Fukushima in America that takes out our heartland with with nasty radiation so that we can't eat the food. We're going to have famines. We're going to have a reason for the FEMA camps to open up. Most of the people that listen to this broadcast know about the FEMA camps. Um, you know, what what uh, what uh, uh, Jesse Ventura, Ventura did with his uh, FEMA camp uh, uh, expose, you know, it, it was pretty well done, you know, because he did the threat fusion centers, but he never really did get a picture of a real FEMA camp. Um, back in uh, 2003, I followed an Internet tip, and I actually did. Uh, and these FEMA camps, they are, they are nasty beyond belief. Um, nobody, it, it's like, you know, the, 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 the compound that I, that I found um, was, was, uh, was called a military hospital, um, but, you know, there was no military base. It's a long story, but it was called a federal, federal uh, it was a, like a, a military a federal uh, uh, psychiatric treatment facility. And when you, I accidentally happened upon uh, upon the fence where there was a guard shack, and I whipped a UA real fast and panicked. But what I saw was razor wire stacked 12 feet high on the inside um, in, in, in like a triangle formation, and then a corridor, and on the inside that's like closest to me, uh, along the outer fence, um, there was there's an, an electrical fence on the end of giant insulators that like like are the type that you see on power poles, and warning signs everywhere of 27,000 volts. It's yeah, like, actually, let know, me let me pop in here. The thing with these FEMA camps is that there's not a lot of them, and so. They can't be for the general public. There's just too much, too many of them. I'm oh, thinking. Oh, I, I, I think. I think no, that but, there's. But I think I think they're going to be used, but they're going to be used for specific people for specific reasons, and the rest of us, which we are, the rest of us are just going to be out out here. They're going to be used to yeah, keep people it, out just as well as keep people in. Well, yeah. Well, I think if you're running around just doing an expose on Fukushima, you're probably. Yeah. Well, you know, if you, <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about those. Camps, I mean, the, you know. the good news, the good news is, is that it seems to me that for the most part, the powers that be, uh, uh, you know, are are extremely arrogant, and that uh, the yeah, re- that's re- another thing. You know, the, re- the, the arrogance is unbelievably strong, and the intelligence is not very high. So the first, um, the first, I mean, the first to go are going to be the ones who can yell the loudest uh so to speak i think and granted even though this data is very good and damaging and uh you know this could get out this could go viral uh, but it seems that if they can do this to japan as you've outlined which is very feasible it, it they're beyond what quote we can do i mean it's like ron yeah. paul or or anybody what what can someone do i mean this is well beyond we have pretty much a hopeless situation. Yeah, I know. Um, so it's like they're, they're sitting back going, sure, go ahead. Do your radio show. Do your stuff. Tell people what to do. Because uh, if we are in, in the midst of drowning the Midwest, uh, if we are in the midst of creating all this stuff, I mean, it's it can't be stopped by us uh, unless there's a metaphysical uh, component uh, to us or, you know, Jesus comes or aliens or something. 
Um, you could shut it down in a day, and everyone has access to these people. 